guys, it's your buddy Subbing Greensville here again today for another fun filled day of magic playing and today we're going to try some Simic Cultivation. Um, so for anybody who watches me, Simic is the uh, Blue Green Guild from Ravnica. They're all about um, experimentation on how to make creatures better, for lack of better words. And we'll keep this. Ruin crab. Well, we're stuck on three lands for now. I got my own in sir. He probably has a blizzard ball though. I don't doubt it. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. The mirror match to end all. No, I'm kidding. Not the mirror match to end all mirror matches, but. <sighs> I love playing in mirror matches sometimes. Sometimes. Not all the time, just sometimes. Alright. Game number two.
Moya Moya. Oh, um, man, I've just been getting really lucky hitting that. Yes, people really do concede when they see the ruined crab. They're like, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> okay, we'll go to game three. Augment. I like it. I actually, actually like this hand. Purpose of excellent hand session. Um, I'll get a lotus cover out. Okay. He's got a wind robber. Oh no, he's got a wind robber. And he's gonna come drop. Nice. For once, I'm gonna play that on the land. And he conceded. Of course he did. Of course he did. Model blue one drops. I think that was what that was. But I mean. You know, I'm actually probably going to build the Mono Blue One Drop deck, but for Historic, because there's so many better Historic cards for that type of... I don't... I shouldn't, because I have none of my ramp early game, but... I do have this. Well, okay.
Ooh. Okay. I mean, Mordecai is dead this turn. If he's smart. do this often. I mean, I... I just don't get to do this often. There we go. Ah. 
actually. Yeah, we got it like that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I can't believe I beat the light green cleric deck. I guess it's a little white green light green, but I can't believe I beat it. I really shouldn't keep this handy group. I don't wish I did it now. We'll see. Goblins galore, huh? Okay. Yeah, I was gonna see that. I mean, we I did go through the first like three games, I think. Three or four games just winning, so the loss is not terrible. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> this is way too pretty not to. This is the Orzov mid-range deck. I think it is.
What's he gonna board wipe? Yeah. He could have gotten any of We're banking on this. Okay. That 
that's what he's okay. Sacrifice that. Is he gonna sacrifice eye twitch? I mean, I'm swimming for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. They're all flyers, sir. And I'm about to draw crap to the corners. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, drawing three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cards in <laughs> one turn. <sighs> Do you guys want one more game? Would you guys like to see one more game? I think you guys would like to see one more game. That <laughs> Pretty, pretty brutal. I'm not gonna lie. That was really awesome, but really brutal. And whew, that, I can't believe that actually worked. I can't believe I got there. I just don't know why those lands were not. Those lands should have been an 8 8 and a 6 6. Um, me and my dumb luck of getting wizard class every almost every game almost every goddamn game Okay. I I will take that loss. Let's jump into the deck tech guys. Okay, so <clears throat> before you guys start going, oh, that's not. I know this isn't the uh, Simic Ramp deck that uh, you guys have seen or whatnot, but yeah, Ruin Crab, one blue, landfall whenever landing is about to under your control, each opponent mills three cards. Wizard class, one blue, you have no maximum hand size. And then for a blue two colorless, you level it up to two, and then you draw two cards. And then blue and three colorless at level three, whenever you draw a card, you put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. I don't know how I saw that wizard class almost every game. Uh, Emergent Sequence, it's a green and a colorless sorcery that lets you search for a basic land card, put it on the battlefield tapped. Uh, that land becomes a 0, zero green and blue fractal creature token that's still a land, and you put a plus one plus one counter on it for each land you had entered the battlefield under your control this turn. Yeah, Lotus Cobra, 2 1 landfall, uh, green colorless snake. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, add one mana of any color. Tango Florhedron is a 1 1 for a green and a colorless, and it taps for one green, or you can uh, play it on Tangled Veil instead. 
and it just taps for a green and it's a land werewolf pack leader two green three three pack tactics whenever you attack with werewolf pack leader if it if you attack with creatures with total power six or greater this combat you draw a card and then for a green and three colorless you can make it a five three with trample and it loses its human side i believe yeah so it just becomes a werewolf a 5-3 werewolf with trample. And yeah, double major, green blue, copy target creature spell you control, except it isn't legendary if the spell is legendary. As you guys saw that one game, casting that on Imrith is uh <laughs> is pretty brutal. Uh, and they got Augmenter Pugilist, it's a 3-3 three, three with trample for two green and a colorless. And as long as you control eight or more lands, it's a 8-8, eight, eight, it gets plus 5, plus 5. And then on the other side, for 2 blue and 3 colorless, Echoing Equation, uh, you choose start creature you control, each other creature you control becomes a copy of it until end of turn, except the creatures that become copies of it aren't legendary if the chosen creature is legendary. So as you can see, he's legendary, and the entire board of mine became him. Um, I am going to... Once I'm done here, I'm going to uh, screenshot that moment, and I'm going to send it into Wizards to fix it because those two lands should have been an eight eight and a six six. Um, but yeah, and you got Quandrix Cultivator, colorless green hybrid green blue blue, so you can either pay a colorless two green and a blue or a colorless two blue and a green. To cast him. He's a 3 4 turtle druid that when he enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic forest or island card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. And of course, Ibrith Desert Blue, 5 5. Oh, sorry for the yawning. Flying, he has Ward 4 as long as he's untapped. He costs 2 blue and 3 colorless guys. Freaking pretty drag. I love this dragon. Um, I like green is my favorite color, and dragons are my favorite creature of all mythology. Just my favorite, just because they're powerful, they're smart, they're majestic. Anyway, we're not gonna get into my love for dragons, but I mean, this dragon makes me want to love blue as much as I love green. And I'm not talking magic wise, I'm talking actual, my actual favorite color is green. Um, and that tends to spill into magic, so, but before magic ever came into my life, green all the way. And then whenever he deals combat damage to a player, sorry for that little tangent, um, draw a card. And then if you have fewer than three cards in hand, you draw cards equal to the difference. So again, if you have zero cards, you draw the one and then draw two more. As you saw that one game with the wizard class, drawing those three cards allowed me to put plus one plus one counters on everything. Um, almost everything, not really, but you guys get the point, I think. Uh, Mordekainen, he's a five loyalty legendary planeswalker for two blue, four colorless. His first ability is plus two, draw two cards, then put a card from your hand on the bottom of your library. Minus two, you create a blue dog illusion creature token with this creature's power and toughness are each equal to twice the number of cards in your hand. And then minus ten, exchange your hand and library, then shuffle. You get an emblem with you have no maximum hand size. Uh, here's the dog token. I was never going to ultimate Mordenkainen ever this video, maybe never with this deck, but he's in here just for the draw and kind of the synergy with the wizard class and... I like him. I like him. Alrin's Epiphany. <gasps> Sorry, y'all are good. It's uh, two blue and five colorless sorcery. You can spend two colorless to cast to uh, exile it face down, and then spend two blue and four colorless to cast it from the from there. Uh, you create two one one blue group. Blue bird creature tokens with flying, and then you also take an extra turn after this one and exile Aaron's Epiphany. 
still very brutal. You, I mean, you guys saw what happened. I took an extra turn, and then the following turn, I said, oh, everything becomes Inverse. <laughs> and last but not least, Coma Cosmo Serpent. He costs three colors, two green, two blue. Is that Finn going up against him? I think so. Anyway. It's a 6-6 Legendary Serpent. He can't be countered. At the beginning of each upkeep, you create a 3-3 Blue Serpent Creature Token named Coma's Coil. Token right there next to it. And... You may sacrifice another Serpent, and you choose one. Either tap target permanent as activated abilities can't be activated this turn, or Coma Cosmo Serpent gets... <sighs> indestructible until end of turn. Anyways, guys, that is the deck tech. I, well, there is one other thing, the Jara Mirror Lake. This is one that I wanted to point out, too, because I really do like this land when it comes to copying effects. So, it does end up battlefield tap. It does tap for only a blue. And then for two colors, blue, green, green, and tapping it, you can sacrifice it. Create a token that's copied target creature you control, except it enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. You can only activate this ability as a sorcery speed. Even so, that's still a pretty dope land. I like it. Um, whenever I play something that does copying my creatures, I do like to include this into that deck just for the additional copy. It's pretty much like playing a spark double without that whole isn't a legendary effect thing. Like, it's everything spark double minus the isn't a legendary. Still, awesome card. This was a really fun deck. I really did enjoy it. Those two goblin decks out of nowhere. I might do the goblin deck too. Anyway, um, if you watch this video... We'll do a poll. Do you want to see me do mono blue one drops or mono red goblins? One's going to be historic, the other one's going to be standard. Thank you guys for joining in. Please share, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and see you tomorrow.